Welcome back to the Diecast Museum. Today we are doing an Auto World video. I've got quite a collection of Auto World cars that I've been meaning to review with you guys. This is my 2022 collection. It is five releases of six cars in two different color variations. And today, well, we're going to do a little bit of catch up going in reverse. And that is release one for 2022, both versions A and B, including this ultra cool red chase car of the mitsubishi 3000 gt vr4 that car is not being opened up and i am looking for the blue painted version of it since i bought a sealed case and got that one missing the blue version i do have the silver or the white version i believe the white version sorry here it is over here and all of these cars that you see still in the package are going to be opened up in this video and we're going to look at the side-by-side, -side, the two color comparisons, any interesting little notes that come on the packaging about these cars. We don't have to look at absolutely everything. Uh, oh, I've got my M2 little Malibu van in there. The Maui, sorry, Maui van. That's not part of the review. But anyways, it's pretty cool. That just came out as well. Found that at my local Walmart. And uh, we've got a few cars already opened up, as you can see, including the woody paneled. Little Chrysler wagon and the Chevy Stepside. Very nice trucks. And probably one of my favorite, that 1979 Lincoln Continental Mark V. Highly detailed. All these cars featuring opening parts. Let's get into a video review 164 scale die cast. I will make note that release two of these Auto World cars is currently already for sale at the time of filming, which is August 2023. Um, I will be ordering those full car sets very soon, but seeing that I'm so far behind on reviewing what I've already bought, and this is just truly uh, something I like to do, it's not uh, uh, something I have to do, but I do like reviewing Auto World. They're probably one of my favorite scale vehicles to collect due to the very nice quality and construction as well as the high detail and most of all very interesting content i shouldn't say most of all that is definitely equal to quality control so um, very cool stuff cars from every sort of interest area really like these new corvettes mid-engine corvettes and two of them to look at as well Nice card art too. It's hard to open them up. I do have a duplicate set of these, which I do not have for um, the cars I bought last year. That's that collection there. It's upside down for you guys. We're not really going to look at that just yet. Might be a future upcoming video. I'm not sure if I'm just going to scrap the whole thing and keep moving forwards because there's just so much to collect. I probably will do a full review of everything at some point, but uh, right now I want to get cracking and the easiest thing to do when cracking cars of this caliber is to have duplicates and uh, for some reason of this set I did buy duplicates so everything getting cracked other than the red chase of the Mitsubishi and of course it is important to make sure I don't crack more cars than I need to because I've already cracked a few off camera as you can see so we will not be cracking that one that's a duplicate and we're not going to crack this one. It's a chase. So let's go in for a close look. I guess I'll look at a few of the uh, little items here on the side before we go and rip all this cardboard and plastic to shreds. This car has a white base, white tires, chrome interior. It's very different looking than what the standard version should be, which is black interior, blue painted um, body, and uh, obviously black tires with a unpainted metal base. So this is, I'm not sure if this is an ultra chase or, I know there's the unpainted chases as well that have no paint whatsoever. Those are like really, really rare. These are pretty rare though, all red. And um, I'm not sure. I, I prefer to get the, uh, well, I, I shouldn't say I prefer to get, but I like to have the regular version as well. It's awesome to find these, but, you know, I'm not going to open it up. So I know that these are worth about 50 bucks, at least in the current market. Um, these, you know, pay me about 15 bucks to buy. Uh, so, easier to open. And what does it say? Oh, I'm just about to rip it open. Do we care? This is the first release of our new Mitsubishi 3000 GT VR4 casting. We do care. The Mitsubishi 3000 GT 
was largely based on the Mitsubishi HSX concept car that debuted in 1989. So very cool information. I do care. I care a lot. Um, the only reason why I said that I might not care is because I know I have a second set that I can read later. But we are doing a review, so we want to make sure that we get all that information out. It's not really a review. It's just, you know, my take on what I like to buy and collect. It's not a review, so to speak. Uh, kind of is a review. I don't know. Anyways, check out the motor. Very, very uh, highly detailed motor on this car. High quality paint job. Forgive the uh, thumbnails and whatnot. Been working hard. So check out the license plate. Twin turbo. Highly detailed uh, Mitsubishi tail lamp as well. It's even got the wiper blade. That is a three-dimensional wiper blade on the back of this car. Can we zoom in on that? Let's take a look at that. Molded right into the windshield and painted uh, satin black. Very nice details on this car. I have to say, exceptional details. This is what I've come to expect from Auto World, and actually blows my expectations out of the water with this model. So, ever improving. Definitely a car manufacturer you want to be collecting if you're into the 164 scale game. Very nice details and high quality cars with really good rolling wheels and obviously awesome content. So let's get that car out of the way. What did it say about the blue one, even though we're not going to read it? Uh, same thing other than in the Japanese domestic market, this car was sold as the Mitsubishi GTO. So some interesting information there as well. Put that car to the side. Wait a minute. What? I ha I do have one. Sorry, I've got one right here, but I've only got one, so I'm not going to open it up. I wanted, for some reason, to have a duplicate um, for this year. Although, in the past years, I have not purchased duplicates. Here it is, and this is the Chase version. So, you can see quite the difference. Quite a difference in the cars. Um, although, they are in the same packaging, and those would have been in the same release and are. So, we've got that. Uh, next vehicle to open up which I already have opened up. So let's just take a look at it. That is this beautiful uh, Chevy, 83 Chevy Silverado Stepside. And uh, custom wheels, shaved bumpers on this truck, at least on the front. Very well detailed bed liner. Obviously the engine is very well detailed as well. Nice fit and finish, as you can see. And a candy sort of apple kind of burgundy metallic red opening tailgate as well like just amazing details all the way around go for a little bit of zoomage usa connecticut license plates super nice chrome wheels with no flashing issues whatsoever and the chrome all the way around the doors as it should be if you're going to try not to get hung up on these vehicles too much as i tend to because there's a lot to look at here. So, uh, premium facts from Auto World. This is the first time Auto World has released. Can we get a focus here, camera? The square body. What in the tarnations is going on here? As a step side combined with a lowered chassis. Unlike trucks of today, the lower portion of the dash on many square body trucks, including the glove box door, were made of stamped and painted sheet metal. That is true. That is very true. Very cool. So we have that one already opened up. Uh, this one's not quite a roller. At least not out of the box. Axles want to roll. I think the tires are just a little misaligned. Pretty easy thing to fix. Um, we looked at this van quickly already. Things that were said about it. Uh, this is our first release of our 1984 Dodge Caravan casting. Ah, I can't keep reading all this stuff. There's so much stuff to read. You'll have to pause and read it. Back to the other truck. This one's in black. We're going to open it up. This is the first time Auto World has released. Yep, yeah, we already read that. Introduced in 1975, the Silverado name was still the top trim package of the 83 Chevy CK uh, pickup truck. Let's open it up. Comes out of the package pretty clean. I do have my little shine rag ready. Uh, different wheels. We've got the stock looking wheels on this truck versus the custom candy painted uh, truck. Stock painted bumper. A little slight misalignment in the uh, bed 
with the frame but that's easy to fix otherwise it's all there and looking really nice oh and for roller totally different wheels these big wheels are a little wider on the custom version already opened up as well is the uh, 79 Lincoln Continental Mark V. What details do we have about that? Buyers of the Continental Mark V could opt for the Designer Series Special Edition Package featuring designer color schemes from Bill Blass. Blah, blah, blah. A little over 16,100 units of the Continental Mark V were sold. Look at this car. I love it. And the details... Like right down to the Continental on the front headlight. The grill work is amazing. It's time for a new camera, clearly. New camera phone. Nice engine work in there. Uh, beautiful, deep, metallic paint job. And check out those awesome white wall tires. Highly detailed and authentic uh, aluminum rims or those hubcaps. I can't quite remember. I think they're aluminum rims. Continental so perfectly decorated onto the trunk lid along with all the other details for the signal lights and tail lights. All of that trim is just done perfectly. It's really quite amazing how Auto World does all this for about $10 a car, realistically. It's absolutely incredible. Love it. And truly, if these things were sold in my local store, I'd be in trouble. Here in Canada, it's really hard. Uh, if not impossible to find these things. I have to pretty much order everything I see. Everything you see here is coming from sellers in the United States of America that I have to buy from through eBay. So Auto World, if you're listening, get some suppliers sending this stuff to Walmart in Canada because we'll buy this stuff. There's lots of collectors here. So we would appreciate uh, buying your merchandise at uh, retail price versus most people not being able to afford this because they just can't find it in their local stores which is a crying shame in my opinion i'm not complaining about the price so much is that it's just the availability sucks for us here in canada north of the border so another really nice detail i won't duplicate my comments but here we have it in what is this one called uh cream that makes sense and a little bit of information about that, but we're running out of time, so we're just going to keep this video rolling. You can pause on that if you want to. Let's just start looking at the cars. This is how I open the hoods. Uh, usually that works. It didn't work, so we're on to the next car. That is the uh, 1997 Toyota Supra. Very popular car. Sweet artwork, new casting variation, it's noted, modern muscle. Uh, first release of the MKV Toyota Supra casting with the Euro style hood scoop. That's the difference, because we have seen this car before. And I'm certain I have collected every one of this car, other than maybe some occasional special edition cars. Once again, very nice car. Got that Euro hood scoop that might lend... Some, uh, can we get open with, no, the other way is the roof on the knuckle, there you go, when the tappage doesn't work with your finger, knuckle roof it, and you may get the hood open there, if not, get a little piece of plastic, and uh, even a piece of the blister, and just cut that out, and use that as a wedge, I've been given that uh, recommendation from many of my viewers. Thank you very much. I have not used it much, as uh, these videos typically are quite off the cuff. But anyways, nice little rolling car. We're going to find that one in silver as well in uh, release 1 version B. All of these cars can be found with a chase version, I'm sure. 1993, 1998, 11,300 super units were sold. And it uh, looks like Auto World's going to sell about the same number of them here in 164 scale all in a minute. Uh, we've got a little bit of a flashing issue in that back wheel. A toothpick, a, a pokey toothpick will probably clean that up nicely. I'm not going to go ahead and whack all those uh, hoods open again. 
But uh, nice looking car in silver. Basically the same car. So we've got a few more cars to look at. Just two by the looks of it. Uh, we've got the... Make sure I'm not doing uh, things wrong here. Oh, we got another minivan. Let's check that out. This is actually a Dodge. I said Chrysler, but basically the same thing. Dodge Caravan was the first true minivan steering new vehicle buyers away from traditional station wagons. And uh, obviously very cool. Autobots made a few castings of these already. A couple different paint variations. It will appear in release two for 2023 as well in two different colors. And uh, here it is in burgundy or something like that, something similar with the wood paneling. It does have an opening hood. I had said previously that it does not, but it does have a nice opening hood showing some detailed engines. Engine work, I should say, not engines, not a dual engine design or anything like that. Very cool. Nice rollers, great white wheels on it. So we've got two minivans, we've got the two step side, flare side, whatever. We've got those. Uh, and uh, we're missing the blue one there. So we need two more cars to look at, and that is the Corvettes. Really would like to get a real version of this at some point in my life. Very cool. So here it is in uh, Long Beach red or burgundy or something like that. Blacked out five spoke rims. Got a nice opening uh, engine cowling bay. Look, at this. there's the trunk space. You can put your groceries in there, your food. Put your food in there. Go to the food store. Unpainted. And now we have a blue one. Um, lots of information on Corvette designs and what went into these cars. Pause on that if you like. Blue is looking really nice. I like that. Tricky looking, I'm going to say. It's looking tricky. Very tricky. And you see? Multiple methods to open it up. There. Get more leverage by smashing the car off your knuckle and open it up that way. It really doesn't harm it at all. You just give it a little bit of wipe afterwards. But good durable paint on these cars, as are most premium vehicles. That was the review, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Come on back for some more. We're going to look at a lot more. And of course, as always, if you're after any of these cars, happy hunting. And if not, I hope you enjoyed the review. We'll see you in a new video.